Good afternoon, little chickens. This is Agnes, and this is part three of the workshop Attracting a Wonderful Relationship, including your specific person if you've got one. So, before I start talking about what I want to talk about, and it's about the law of projection today, I want you to pause this video, and then down in the description, there's a little one minute thing I want you to watch because that's what I'm going to discuss today. That little thing's really important. Okay, so you've come back, you've watched the rice thing. Now, you saw he's got the three jars there and he's sending, you know, different messages to different jars. Now, why I want to talk about this because this is what we do to people, it's the law of projection. We are projecting vibes, thoughts, and feelings to our people. So, as you can see, it's got a massive effect on rice. So you can imagine what the vibrations, the thoughts, the feelings do when you send it to a person. Now, if you're trying to get an ex back or a specific person that you've never been out with or even just a general relationship with someone that you don't even know, you can see how applying this law of projection is going to impact the people that you send it to. So, I want you to spend a little bit of time today and you're gonna write down, there's only gonna be one question in this, but it's gonna require you to write a little bit of stuff down. What is it that I project to my person, to the opposite sex, to my specific person? What is the stuff I project? So I'm gonna give you some ideas to pull from and then you can pause and just go on and do your own thing. So. Are you sending, you need to make me happy, I can't be happy unless you love me, I am unwanted, I'm unloved, I'm not secure, I'm not supported, I'm going to fall apart if you don't do X, Y, Z. Um, all these things are things that we project to people and for those of you that have got X, X's or specific people, these are the reasons why they stay away. It's because they don't want to turn into the moldy jar of rice. <laughs> I just thought that visual would really help you. It's because with people we don't actually see. We just kind of hear from them or they disappear, what we've done. You know, we hear a little bit and then they run away. So this is the equivalent of the moldy rice or the ignored rice okay so have a think about what you do write it down and be really honest with yourself like are you projecting neediness or jealousy or you know just all that stuff I need you to, to do stuff for me so that I feel beautiful you need to tell me do I look good in this <laughs> Okay, so I want you to spend some time really thinking about the rice and what you project to your people in relation to that. Now, the other thing I want to say is I want you to reverse the roles too. Now, if someone was doing to you what you do to that other person, meaning if someone was coming at you and saying, I need you to love me, I don't feel wanted, I you know, can't get my shit together unless you ring me every day or text me every day and someone hangs all their stuff on you and puts the pressure on you and that demand, emotional demand and quite selfishness really. I'm going to be a bit, a bit hardcore today. When we do that to people, it's pretty hardcore selfish because it's saying I'm too lazy to do it for myself. So if you can think about for a little bit too, if someone was doing to you what you are doing to the other person, how would you feel? Would you want to run away? Because it is a pressure. 
okay? It is a pressure, but we often only think of it from, they're not giving me this and I don't feel good, but you don't actually see what it's like to be on their end of the scale, okay? So, that's your homework for this week, and you can add to it during the week. I'm going to add a meditation. It'll be one of mine this week to go with it. So watch the rise, watch it more than once. I've if you Watch it a couple of times, you see other things and you hear other things, because it's quite short. Okay, so let me know how you're going and um, keep doing the self-love, because that's what I'm gonna post in the, the uh, meditation for you today. Okay, 